Uh, hello, my name is Po Lethu. Um, I am a defensive end and I have been playing with Witness for five, this will be my fifth year playing with Witness. Witness means family to me, a brotherhood. Hanging out with the guys, it really, it helps me a lot. All the men there, we just get to be us without having to worry about anybody else. And as a brotherhood, you get to trust people. Um, I've built a lot of relationships with the, our teammates and it started off as just something, a hobby, uh, something I was just interested in or just even looking into. I didn't think I was gonna even get this far or become this serious. I even tried to retire for a little bit, but uh, since it's a family, you know, you can always come back anytime. So I feel like Witness has always welcomed me from the beginning and it has made me grow into a person who I, had, who I when I was younger, would admire and would love to have as a role model. I think my role on Witness is comedic relief and a big brother to a lot of these uh, kids because now our team is transitioning into a younger crowd and before I was the younger one but now I'm one of the older ones. I play for Witness because it makes me feel like home. It, um, when I play, when I'm out on the field, I, I tell everybody it, it feels like war to me. And you know, nowadays we don't really go through war like that unless you're in the streets. At the same time, it makes me humble to showcase my talents, to do whatever I can and play my part when it comes to our team. My football career basically started in middle school. Before then, I never really played football, American football at least. I played soccer, I played um, basketball, I did wrestling, um, always been an athlete. Um, but when it comes to football, started in middle school, um, playing the line, tight end, um, and the, it, when I played, I was the biggest kid on the team, so it was pretty easy to just go through people, and in middle school, you know, people, kids weren't really that strong. I was like, I was the same height and size I was, uh, like I am now, so you know, I, mean, I was bullying them kid, like, ah, ah, like it's nothing. Uh, but uh, after that, I never played football again until Witness. So um, coming back to Witness, I didn't really know f anything about football still. Um, the reason uh, f Witness actually made me fall in love with football and made me start watching it and trying to learn, trying to perfect my game, with, uh, learning all the positions, everything like that. And um, it basically, Witness is why I love football, to put it in the most simplest term. And it makes me feel like um, throughout this whole career since the beginning of Witness till now, I've grown so much. I, 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 I started as a D-line and still am, um, but I want to play different positions, obviously, when, whatever, but wherever I, I can fit in and wherever I can um, support the team, wherever they need me. Um, and starting from when I first started now, I feel like I am the best defensive lineman in the entire league. Uh, Mark my words, snap that, do whatever you want with that. Tell your mama, your grandma, your auntie, your uncles, t Nisha, t no, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I re um, that's pretty much the gist of my football career and I plan to continue playing for a little while until I can't anymore physically or mentally, how, to, just basically as long as I can. I'm looking what yeah. Andrew told me with the beard thing, man. Said, cool beard thing. Oh, Andrew yeah. said a lot of fun guys that get like cool beard. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, dude. It's like it's like a life a lifetime, dude. Growth, man. So I'm looking at everybody's beards now, man. Okay, so you come into the middle here, uh, break down, and then turn, and then you should be catching the ball right on your break. All right. Yeah, so go.
Zach, you good for Saturday, Sunday, or what? Sunday? Saturday, Sunday? Ready. Memorial? Oh, what? Are you playing? No, he's playing. Don't let him say that. Uh, what if I get you a ball of fudge? He don't eat fudge. He don't, he don't eat hot dogs, playing. man. What if I get you some hot dogs? Hot Sunday. dogs and brats. Oh, okay. Man, That's it, man. That's all. Dogs. You know he's going for some hot dogs. Ready. Let's go. Oh, okay, Zach. Oh, good. Oh, hey. Oh, he's blind, dude. Just don't drag it. Jesus, they're more serious than you down there, coach. That coach down there is more serious than you. He out here screaming. You be like this, coach. Okay, next play. <laughs> hey, man. What am I going to do to tell you, if I tell you something to do in the middle of a game, like if I'm harping on you, guess what you're going to do? I, I don't think the whole team knows that, though. What's that? I don't think the whole team knows that. What's that? They yeah, say harp on us that we won't play better. No, 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 no. If I harp on you mm -hmm. as a coach, right, hey, if I write on you, what are you thinking right, next time? Are you're thinking, right somebody no, you're going to be thinking all the wrong that you're doing in a game. James, okay. Ready? Got for Skelly? Yeah, we got enough for Skelly. Right, let's do Skelly then. All right. Uh, you Go can use some of our guys. Yeah, we're, yeah, we got enough. We're going to do man. Andrew, and you. I got dinner. I got dinner on the line. I got defense. You guys got to do what you got to do. Yeah, we can you got keys right there. Can you give me my drone? Is that what it is? You know what? Right. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's get a let's get a group out there. Let's see. You can't just throw it down deep. I get it. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Are right, you really gonna eat middle practice? <laughs> no, coach. I was just holding it, coach. Oh, coach. Hey, coach. Set. Get there. Get there. Get there. RB1! Yeah, coach flew to Wassel two years ago. I sure did. Got there in I got 20 a limo. Minutes. A limo came pick me up. The Zach limo. <laughs> Dude ordered Uber uh, XL. <laughs> Good job, man. Good job, Dad. Let's get better, backers. Let's get better, quarters. Let's go. I know you guys will show up, but we got to get the rest, the rest of the guys showing up as well. All right? okay. But good work today offensively. Uh, thanks, defense, for giving us a good look. But, uh, I, you know, we got better on, on certain parts. But we'll see how it goes when uh, we get other people uh, smacking us or hitting us in the mouth uh, as well. Right? Is um, walkthrough okay on Friday night? Yep. Six to eight. Okay, we could grill afterwards, hang out. Okay. Um, is that okay for everybody? <laughs> Yeah, right. She said grilling, yeah. Well, it seems like everybody shows up when there's burgers and dogs. I swear you'll get the whole team plus four, right? Here. I am actually not Hmong, I am Karen. My family immigrated from Thailand back in 2004. We moved here to Minnesota straight away and um, well, how I, I found out about the Hmong community was, I mean, you know, you go into school, elementary, Hmong people have been here before I even got here, so. They were everywhere, uh, and they were also Asian, so obviously I acquainted with them first. And the woman I married is Hmong. I have a daughter as well who's Hmong. So being a Karen coming into the Hmong community, it's it feels very welcoming. Um, it's it's like we are also from Southeast Asia, um, so you know Southeast Asian pride, Laos, Cambodia, all that. Shout outs to y'all. I grew up with a lot of Hmong people. Most of my friends were Hmong. I grew up with Andrew as well. We went to middle school together and whatnot. You know, got to tussle with. Uh, with the Murray, uh, shout out to Noah Bowie. We was we we was on your your <laughs> your bumper boy. Uh, to uh, city champs, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, enough of that. Remember, offensive line. Okay, make sure you guys hold your blocks all the way because we have a running quarterback. Guess what? Got to keep blocking, keep blocking, keep blocking. Okay, all right. Yes, Until sir. the whistles blow, keep going. Thank you once more.
what makes me me is just who I am. I'm a funny guy. Uh, I got a big heart. I'm very humble. Um, I love everyone and hopefully everyone loves me. I try my best. I try to not start fights, get into fights, anything like that. Uh, I try to stay away from any, every, all of that because growing up in the streets uh, of good old Eastside St. Paul, you know, we didn't, I didn't grow with the best crowd, so I didn't see the best people um, or got in contact or hung around uh, good friends that only wanted you to do good. You know, we grew up, we saw, um, people who were gangbangers, all that, and we wanted to be just like them. But thank God, I never went that route and seen a lot of stuff, but never had to, um, never wanted to be, to walk in those footsteps and molded myself to be somebody who I really didn't want to be. Peace, love, positivity is everything to me. Other things that make me, me is, psh, I'm one of a kind baby, so you already know when it's me, it's me, you hurt? <laughs> I am just a regular guy going to work, hitting the gym, providing for my family. I'm a husband and a father, um, and those those two uh, people are my priority. And what whatever I do, I need I need to make sure that I can provide for them and still be in their lives and do what I can as a father and as a man. Um, so with that being said, when we go out there on the field and we, it seems like everybody's trying to hurt each other. Um, takes each other's heads off, whatever, break break a leg, something like that. Um, that is not what I intend to do every time I go out there and I hope other people feel the same way and uh, treat treat that, treat this game as, there, it's more than just a hobby. At the end of the day, after it's all said and done, we have to go back and provide and be who we have to be. So hurting somebody, breaking their legs, taking them out of commission where they can't work is out of the question. Um, I want you to go back home so you can still provide for your family, uh, take care of yourself and rest up, do whatever you gotta do and, so you can do it again. Tomorrow's a new day. 0-2 doesn't define us today. 
okay? Tomorrow is what defines us, okay? How do we bounce back from the things that we did today, the things that, hey, we can help control ourselves, okay? Hey, all day today, guys, we know that the refs were unbelievable, okay? Unbelievable. But guess what? We gotta keep fighting, we gotta keep fighting, and we should never put ourselves in this situation, okay? We should never put ourselves in this situation. This is a learning experience for all of us. I hope it hurts because we're much better than this. And we're not showing it. We're not showing it. We all give. We all give, guys. Okay? But guess what? Clamp down on our fundamentals. Clamp down on things that we got to do as a team. We say, hey, see. We say, hey, make a block. And we say, hey, here. Okay? What are we doing? We're thinking outside the box now. Just keep it simple, guys. Offense, defense, skill guys. Everybody, man. It's frustrating. But guess what? Tomorrow's a new day. Let's get rest. Come back tomorrow. And we'll show you Hey, win us all three! One, two, three, win us! No, but we really, we, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Yesterday, we should not have lost either of those games. It was 6 to 12 ball games, too, right? That means we did something consistently bad. <laughs> Literally. It's a bunch of small mistakes. I was telling Coach Jamie Mason, we could be the worst team in the tournament on a Saturday, but come Sunday, we better be the best. Because Witness made me fall in love with football, I told all of my guys this and all of everybody on our team that I would not play for another team other than Witness. And if Witness was to disband, I would completely stop playing uh, flag football. This is family to me. And we always say Witness through and through, and there's people that have stepped out, gone on different teams and whatnot. Um, but I for sure will stay with Witness as long as I can. And the reason why I want to stay is because I came out to the team, I didn't think I was going to have a long career or plan, even plan on staying, but the more I came in contact with my teammates, the more they made me want to stay because everybody's just real um, and everybody helps each other out. It's like networking, but with a family, you know, um, uh, whenever you need somebody, they got you. I can say that these are going to be lifelong friends and I wish nothing but the best for each and every one of them. Thank you. 